is still up. He's touching up. I just keep touching up this wall, trying to get it perfect. The wall that I painted, the little white wallpaper. We're right. getting ready. Probably head home in a few minutes. Cause I think basically we done with the touch ups. We just probably touch it up again when it's completely dry so we can see it. But other than that, I just repainted like all up in there. Spots. And he's doing like white and the light purple touch up. So I'm tired. I might take a shower and go to bed. I get up early because I got a new client in the morning. So want you guys to see that. And I will see you guys tomorrow when the carpet is installed and I start um, doing the floor and shows and stuff. All right. Good morning. So I just left my client. And uh, we shall see how that project goes. He basically has an empty space and wants me to fill it and decorate it. So, yeah. But I'm here. I'm in here today at Home Depot looking for some switch covers because... Hers are old and outdated, so I want to get something new to put in there. So that's why I am here to find something new. And I want it mirrored, but I don't know if they have them in the store, but I do know that um, they do sell them, but I couldn't find them online. They switched this store all the way around. Oh my gosh, this is not even a spot. Hold on, y'all. All right, so here we are. And I don't see any mirrored ones. I don't see. Oh, yes, I do. Here they go, right here. Here they go. So I'm going to get three of these. And I will get a switch. Oh, they had exactly what I needed. Bam. So. All right, hold on, guys. Now I'm about to go look at their spray paints to see what I can find. We'll be back, guys. So, guys, these are all the items that I picked up from Home Depot, and now we're gonna head back to the house. The wall that I hand painted. I gotta put tape up and do the top. But this is the wall, and that's the other color over there. So I'm gonna be coming back to finish this up. And getting this bed created, creating the nightstands, and uh, this is gonna be on the side of her bed. I'm sorry, I was inside trying to get stuff ready for my new client, so I didn't get to show him creating the whole nightstand. But this is it, and uh, you guys will see it once we install them and put the mirror and stuff on them. The reason for the floating nightstands is to save space and to also not give her a place to put more items. Old and in with the new looks so much better. Uh, hey, to what? All right, guys, so she didn't want to have carpet, but here's the thing. When we're looking at a budget, you have to do what is going to look pleasing to the eye, but also pleasing to your pockets at that time, because we did not know what we can do that would be frugal, but last a long time. So we just went with carpet and it was a very, very inexpensive way to freshen up her room. And I love the way it turned out. This is the fabric. Isn't that fabric gorgeous? Look at that fabric, y'all. That fabric is gorgeous, like the bomb. And so we are going to get ready to get started with this. So this is the layout and when I do these headboards, I try to make them to where it gives you this hotel vibe. You know, hotels mount their headboards to the wall and it saves space and takes up less space. So you see the headboard is already um, upholstered and ready over in the corner. This is a nice, simple headboard that I like to do, but it's also elegant and unique. And right now what we're doing is just putting the bed up because what I need to do is make my line to see where the headboard should be mounted and where the nightstands should be mounted. So this is the loft style bed that I told you guys I purchased for her off of um, this one I got from Target. It was like 80 bucks 
with my discounts it was like 70 something but this allows them to put stuff under the bed like i do in my home that way you don't have to have dresser dressers and drawers taking up extra space I got this here for eight bucks and I'm going to change it. Gold. So you can see before what they look like before we install the mirror sockets. And then this is what they look like after. I think it is so, so, so refreshing to see it. And it looks much better and aesthetically pleasing to the eye in the room. So I'm excited about that. And my daughter, as you can see, is the one who placed them in. And that is what they look like. So yeah guys, let's move on to getting some other stuff done for this room. Um I didn't put on a wall yet. I'm getting ready to put these up. Because of the weather, it's hard for spray paint to even dry. So I'm gonna attach these to the wall now and then I'm gonna paint them. I'm gonna tape around them and paint them um on the sides that need to be painted and then um let them dry and put the mirror on because I can't um get the spray paint to dry. It's below 40 degrees. So that's not working for me. So these are the custom floating head. Nice things. They're gonna go right here on the side with mirror on the top. So you guys will see that in a minute. Abby is taking the TV down so we can put it over there. So that's what he's doing right now. Yes, guys, I have to put the anchors in. This is going to allow the headboard to be very, very strong and sturdy on the wall. So that's what your girl is doing. It's pre-drilling and putting in anchors. Teamwork makes the dream work. So hubby and I are painting these together. And I did this so that way it'll give the illusion of them floating because this is the same color as the accent wall. So they'll just blend right into the wall and you'll only see the whites. He is up and he is tired. We're about to put the nightstands up. And um, then I think that's which you're gonna you're gonna do them things tonight too. Hold on now. So it was time for me to mount the actual nightstands to the wall and those had to be pre-drilled and anchored as well. You always want to use anchors when you are putting something heavy on the wall or something that's going to have weight or pressure to it. Your best bet is getting anchors and I get all my anchors from Walmart and they have different shapes and different sizes for different textures and different items. So check out Walmart when you want to anchor anything to the wall or hang up anything heavy anchors are the way to go so i'm just pre-drilling all my holes but we had a snafu where the anchors that i purchased did not work for this i needed something a little bit heavier and so that was that day so next day you'll see us guys yes as you see this is the next day omg when i tell you we were so tired it is a lot of intricate details that go into doing these rooms and you know you can't share every single piece of everything because these videos will be very long but what i try to do is give you the experience of how i transformed this room and yes i was frustrated last night i was frustrated because i wanted those nightstands up because i wanted to move to the next thing the next day well actually this is the next day the next night like we had so much stuff that we had to do earlier before this so this was the next day later on that day or whatever so this is me anchoring them to the wall and i'm so excited that they are up and as i told you i will be painting around the sides of them so we'll we're gonna move the bed and i'm gonna go and paint the white and touch it up and you know do everything now the top doesn't need to be painted because the top is going to have the actual um mirror place on top of it remember i was excited guys i never throw away anything because those pieces that come from bigger bigger pieces 
always work out. I had a big enough piece to make tops for both of her nightstands. And that mirror is going to reflect and bring more visual space to the room. So I love it, love it, love it. And it was only five bucks, well actually eight dollars to get these two pieces cut. The guy knows me and I come in there a lot. So it was awesome. All right guys, let's keep going. I gotta touch up the wall and I don't like these being that I'm going to not use the big chair. So guys, this is a recliner and I paid 30 bucks on offer up and I love it. It is really, really, really a steal of a deal, but they do not work well, which is the lampshades with the actual decor. So I may not use the chair as well. She'll probably just use it somewhere else in the house. And the chair was the same color as those. So I'm gonna try these white ones to see what they look like and go from there. So you guys can tell me what you think, hold on. I don't know, I think the bed may need to be made in order for me to make this decision because yeah, I'm not, I don't know. All right guys, this is where your girl is on social media. I also have another channel. If you are new to this channel, the link is in the description box. It is the CPR Vibe channel. Lots of great inspiration and motivation over there. But before you head over, check out these videos.